Good morning, all of you. I completed the analysis of stopping side distance in the last session. Now I am proceeding with the numericals on stopping side distance today. Numericals on stopping site distance SSD stopping site distance SSD okay before going to numericals on stopping side distance some prerequisites are required some prerequisites are required what are those the first thing is that you should know the speed conversion you should know the speed conversion if they are given the speed in terms of kilometer per hour you should know the conversion of that kilometer per hour speed to meter per second it's very simple whatever the speed they are given in kilometer per hour for that speed divided by 3.6 we get it the speed in terms of meter per second okay and for calculation purpose of stopping side distance the IR has suggested the reaction time of the driver 2.5 seconds okay this also may not given in many of the problems to determine the stopping side distance and that value you should know that the reaction time of the driver for the calculation purpose of stopping side distance is equal to 2.5 seconds and the coefficient of friction the coefficient of friction f okay it's varies with the design speed no and that also they may not given in your problem and that values of coefficient of friction you should know that the values of the coefficient of friction we should know that it's very simple okay for the 20 to 30 design speed the coefficient of friction is 0.4 and for 40 km per hour it is 0.38 and 50 it is 0.37 okay and for 65 it is 0.36 and for 80 it is 0.35 and for the design speed of 100 and above it is 0.35 only okay i'll move on to the first problem problem number one the first problem it is calculate the safe stopping side distance on a level road stretch for a design speed of 50 km per hour for two-way traffic on a two-lane road number B it is two-way traffic on a single lane road okay it's very simple two-way traffic on two-lane road is equal to one times of stopping side distance but two-way traffic on a single lane road it is twice the stopping side distance first write down the given data given data see oh, they have given speed the given design speed v is equal to 50 kilometer per hour okay so usually for denoting the design speed in terms of kilometer per hour you are going to use the capital letter v and for denoting the design speed in terms of meter per second you are going to use a small letter v or small v is equal to that is 50 divided by 3.6 that we get about 13.9 meter per second okay and except the design speed they are not mentioning anything okay we have to assume you have to assume t is equal to 2.5 second as per irc suggestion the reaction time of the driver t is equal to 2.5 seconds for the calculation of stopping side distance and coefficient of friction f okay for the design speed of 50 km per hour if you refer the table okay the values of coefficient friction table if you refer the table for 50 km per hour speed it is 0.37 it is 0.37 is it clear and the acceleration due to gravity that we know that that is 9.8 meter per second square okay then we have 
we have swapping side distance on level road stretch on level road stretch is equal to vt plus v square by 2g f where v is the design speed in terms of meter per second t is the reaction time of the diver in terms of second g is the acceleration due to gravity and f is the coefficient of friction okay therefore therefore ssd is equal to so v in terms of meter per second is 13.9 13.9 multiplied by reaction time of the diver it is 2.5 plus 13.9 square 13.9 square divided by 2 into 9.8 multiplied by f is 0 0.37 f is 0.37 this will gives this will gives a plus 26.6 okay v into t that is 13.9 into 2 we get 34.8 okay and this 13.9 square divided by this v square by 2 edge that is lag distance we get 34.8 and breaking distance that is v square by 2 gf we get about 26.6 it becomes 61.4 meter it becomes 61.4 meter the stopping side distance on a level road stretch is equal to 61.4 meter okay then go for the required things okay number a what they're asking two-way traffic on a two-lane road ssd stopping side distance for two-way traffic on two lane road is equal to 61.4 meter okay usually for two way traffic on two lane road it is one times of stopping side distance is required but for two way traffic on single lane road okay the stopping side distance required is twice the stopping side distance required for two way traffic on two lane road it is SSD for two way traffic on single lane road is equal to two times of sixty one point four. 2 times of 61.4 that will give us about 122.8 meter say 123 meter say 123 meter it's very simple problems is it clear have you understood no next i'll move on to the second problem The second problem is calculate the stopping side distance on a highway at a descending gradient of 2% for a design speed of 80 km per hour. Assume other data as per IRC recommendations. Okay, it's very simple. The previous problem they have given that is on level road stretch we have to calculate the stopping side distance on level road stretch but here we have to calculate the stopping side distance on slopes okay here they have given descending gradient no that is downward gradient okay first go for the given data given data what they are given they are given descending gradient usually the gradient for stopping side distance you're going to denote it by small letter n Okay, n is equal to minus 2%. Why minus? Because of downward gradient. Descending means downward gradient. No, if they are given descending gradient, you have to take minus. If they are given upward gradient, you have to take plus. Okay, descending gradient is minus 2%. That is in terms of fraction is equal to 
0 0.02 2 percent that in terms of fraction it becomes 0 0.02 that is minus 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02 is your descending gradient in addition to that what they are given they are given the design speed v in terms of kilometer per hour that is 80 kilometer per hour or small v is equal to 80 divided by 3.6 you may get about 22.22 meter per second okay and assume all other data as per IRC recommendations we know that reaction time of the diver t is equal to 2.5 seconds 2.5 seconds and coefficient of friction f for the design speed of 80 kilometer per hour if you refer the values of coefficient of friction f okay we may get about 0.35 for the design speed of 80 km per hour, the coefficient of friction F is equal to 0.35. Next, go for the solution. We have stopping say SSD on stretch of road, stretch of road with gradient with gradient okay that is ssd is equal to vt plus v square divided by 2g f plus or minus f plus or minus 0 0.01 n 0 0.01 n is it clear and here use the plus f plus or minus 0 0.01 in no use plus okay when ascending gradient is given means upward gradient is given use minus when descending gradient is given that is downward gradient is given here in this problem they have given the descending gradient now then you have to use the minus here okay therefore ssd is equal to v into t that is v is 22.22 and t is 2.5 plus v square 22.22 square divided by 2 into 9.8 multiplied by f f is how much 0.35 plus or minus okay because of the given descending gradient it is minus minus 0 0.01 n okay where n is 2 okay 0 0.01 into 2 we get about 0 0.02 it is 0 0.02 means whatever the gradient they have given in terms of fraction they are usually they have given in terms of percentage convert that into fraction okay 2 percent is becomes 0 0.02 then you have to use minus 0 0.02 because they have given the descending gradient of 2 percent okay this will give 55.55 plus we get this about 76.33 if you add together okay you may get about 131.88 meter say 132 meter say 132 meter okay this is regarding the stopping side distance on a stretch of road with gradient okay in this problem they have given descending gradient that's why you are going to use okay f minus n okay if they have given ascending gradient then you have to use f plus n okay in addition to these problems okay they may also ask the problems to find the headlight side distance and intermediate side distance very simple okay it's like your uh, the first problem if they're asking you to find the headlight side distance then your headlight side distance is equal to one times of stopping side distance first you have to calculate the stopping side distance using the given data and assuming the respected data as per irc recommendations we have to first calculate the stopping side distance then if they are asking to find the headlight side distance then headlight side distance is equal to one times of ssd we get headlight side distance 
the side dish is available for the driver under the illumination of vehicle headlights that is called headlight side distance the headlight side distance is equal to one times of stopping side distance is it clear and sometimes they ask you to find the intermediate side distance isd okay usually for the limited overtaking opportunities when the overtaking side distance may not be provided okay then they are going to provide the intermediate side distance to provide the limited overtaking opportunities okay usually the intermediate side distance is equal to twice the stopping side distance isd is equal to two times of sst okay we can easily find out the hsd and ist headlight side distance and intermediate side distance by using the stopping side distance they may also ask the problems okay to find the headlight side distance and to find the intermediate side distance is it clear okay this is regarding the numericals on stopping side distance okay